Nelda City closed its space doors this afternoon, and crowds gathered in the docking area, free citizens and Imperial slaves alike, to hear Argon Armrand, CEO and Brinkeps of the Angeli Imperial Enterprises, speak. Friends, citizens, commanders, Imperials all, I address you all today, to speak on a matter of grave concern to the Empire and its continuing prosperity. This threat to our great state is no external boogeyman the media might use to stir up some furor, no. This threat comes from within the Empire itself. Ah! I hear you say, here we have just another politician looking to sling mud at his fellows, to gain a few points by accusing some rival of some misdeed, real or imagined, and create a media circus about it. No, I say, I am not here to accuse any one person of any misdeed, for the threat lies not in a person or power, but in the system itself. A cancer reaching the empire from within. Systemic nepotism and cronyism, combined with the excessive reliance of slave labor has left the empire weak, rotten in the core and stagnating, like venial brass it is polished and luminous on the exterior but corroded within, and we, we all, choose not to see it. But the pater and client system is the basis of the empire I hear you call out down the back that the traditions of imperial slavery is the backbone to our economy, and our society, that we might keep face and still be productive citizens even when the worst strikes and we have nothing to our names. And it is indeed true that these hallowed institutions are the backbone, the core, the spirit and essence of imperial society, for what is an imperial citizen when they have lost all control of the destiny? What honor do they have left, when they are no longer the masters of their fate, but instead the flotsam and jetsam in a notion of indifference? I, myself, have undergone the rebirth of imperial bondage, from imperial citizen to slave, to save myself from degradation and debit, but I ask you, why, why is it that so many of our number, so many promising imperial youths full of vim and vigor and untapped potential end up debtors, end up selling themselves into bondage, why are they not filling the ranks of our corporations and public offices? Do we blame sims? Drink? Drugs? Idle decadence? Do we want to blame symptoms, or, do we want to address the cause? Look that those postings and stations we would traditionally equate to the young imperial first starting their public life, and you will find the positions taken up with imperial slaves. Yes, the bondsmen and women need some way to pay off their debts and reclaim their place as free and enfranchised citizens of the empire, and yes they work hard to do that but for minimal remuneration, remuneration that might not even service their debt, and so they are trapped never moving forward, all the whilst holding a position that would otherwise go a free citizen. And when those roles free up, as infrequent as they do, why would anyone hire a free citizen who would demand a living wage, when one can penny pinch and exploit one bondsman to the legal edge of their contract? Of course some jobs will go to free citizens, but how are they selected, are the best and the brightest picked, to go forth, where they will be the next wave to push the empire forward to an ever more glorious future? Only if they have the nod of some venerable patron, one who is more interested in securing their own political position, by trading nepotism and cronyism for a few more voices to echo theirs at the forum, or, in the council meetings, and having not come in from the ground level and pulled themselves up with their bootstraps, these political appointees have no experience to manage what they are assigned, and the wastage harms not only the empire, but as their departments collapse, they throw more citizens into unemployment and debt. So, what are we left with? No job opportunities, and no experience.
our free citizens find themselves unable to pay their way, debt, and exploitation is all that remains for them. Whilst a few powerful patrons amass wealth and they and their clients watch from their palatial holdings. Is that the empire we want? It is time for a change, a time for the empire to embrace again the virtues of diligence, industry, perseverance and dutifulness. It is a time for the rewards to go again to those who serve the state, not to those who merely praise the right master. Be you freeman, freedman or bondsman, no matter your status, all citizens of the empire should be able to stand tall with a full frame, stand with honor, and have an opportunity to do their duty and earn their freedom, for none of us are truly free, unless we have a choice in our destiny. I, Argon Armand, vow, in any system under my jurisdiction, imperial slaves will have fair wages so they might earn their freedom in a reasonable time. Free citizens will find jobs so they can contribute to society by the merits they can bring and not by the patron that can name. Together. Together, we can all stand side by side, in our toil, and relight the fire that once burnt so brightly in the hearts and souls of every citizen. Honor is not just a word, it is deeds, diligence, industry, perseverance and dutifulness.